Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Box 12 here with another Realm of the Mad God guide video. Last time I did the armor comparison between Sea Silk and Hydra, <clears throat> um, and also the Necromancer guide as well. And now I'm going to do another armor guide video with the Robe of the Mad Scientist versus the Robe of the Grand Sorcerer, and that is going to conclude my armor comparison videos. Now, what's there to say about these two armors? Well, the Robe of the Grand Sorcerer, or G Source, or G Sork, people call it either one, is the red robe that is not the robe of the Invoker, but it drops from Oryx the Mad God, and actually from the Epic Dungeons, Son of Arachna, Murderous Megamoth, John Bilgewater, the Pirate King. Uh, I actually just found that out on the Realm I Wiki. Pretty interesting stuff. And Robe of the Mad Scientist drops from only the Mad Lab, Dr. Terrible, in a cyan bag, or actually, I think in a blue bag. Um, I know the other items do. I don't know if the robe does. I think it does. So, which one is better? Alright. Well, let's take a look at their stats. Robe of the Grand Sorcerer gives you 4 attack, 13 death, 6 wisdom, and 55 MP. Whereas the Mad Scientist robe gives you 4 attack and 13 death, which is the same, so no difference so far, but 2 vit and 5 wisdom and 55 MP. So everything is the same, except 1 less wisdom, but 2 more vit. Now that's a one. Now that's a two for one kind of deal. Like you're losing one but gaining two in a different stat. So instead of only having buffs on four of your stats, you're having buff on five, which is really good. I, I, you know, it's a great robe. But what is the difference? Why, why does two vit matter instead of six wisdom? Well, it really doesn't. The numbers are so small you can't even notice. You know, you get your mana and HP regenerated so fast with pets. Anyway, you you're probably not going to notice that unless you really looked for a long time. So if I had to recommend one of these to you, we're going to have to go down the robe class lineup. So wizard, mystic, necromancer, sorcerer, and priest. Which robe would go to which character? I'm going to tell you right now. Let's start with the priest. The priest is, you know, he's a great, he, or he was really great back in the day whenever um, heals were hard to come by, just like the, the necromancer. You know, like, being able to heal yourself was really a luxury, but now everybody kind of takes it for granted. Okay, so whenever we're comparing 2 Vit 5 Wiz to 6 Wisdom, a character like the Priest regenerates his health in an instant. The blink of an eye, just the click of the button, spacebar, you're back at full pretty much. Almost all the time, you're healing back to full. So why would you need more Vit? On a character that can instantly go back up to full health, why the vit? Why more vit? It, you know, you don't need more vit on a character like that. If anything, you want more wisdom to be able to use your ability that gives you full health. You see what I'm trying to lay out there for you? Alright. So hopefully you agree with me on that. Because I, you know, I'm never usually, usually everything's pretty open-ended. Like, you know, you could go this way or that way. Which it is, but whenever we're talking about the priest, Grand Sorcerer is kind of the way to go. Unless, you know, you don't have a pet and you want that extra vit. But... For the most part, Six Wisdom is good for the Priest. Okay. Necro falls in the same category. It gets its heals pretty quickly. Just a click of the space bar, you're pretty much back at full, you know? So uh, the same thing is going to apply. You're going to want more Wisdom on that guy instead of more Vit. Because you can get up to full HP without the help of your Vit. Heck, you could have zero Vit and it wouldn't even matter. Okay, maybe it would matter, but you get my point. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, you shouldn't wear Robe of the Mad Scientist on Necro or Priest. I have a Mad Scientist robe on my Necro right now. I only have one uh, Mad Scientist robe, so I kind of I like the variety, you know, t testing different things out. Whenever you have the stuff, you have the luxury of trying new things. A lot of people don't have that luxury, and they only have one robe, and it's not even, you know, in the top tiers. But this is for the people that do have that luxury. Alright, Sorcerer. Need I remind you that he maxes at 75 vit. So adding more vit to him is, you know, it's, it's like adding more vit to a knight. You know, not really, not much point to it. It's not really um, the best thing that you could do, but it always helps. More vit, you know, you regenerate really fast. Helps for rushing and stuff. But with the Sorcerer, it's different because of his scepter. 
you know, scepter of, you know, the fulmination scepter. It's incredible. Only 65 MP. It slows targets or everybody that gets hit by it for three seconds, and it does, you know, 180 damage. That's incredible. And if you, you know, that, the, remember the numbers that we're working with, one and two. The, you know, the one extra wisdom probably won't help you get that extra scepter off, but it'll help you get that fat, you know, it'll help you get, like whenever you use up all of your mana, it'll help you get your scepter back up uh, just a little bit faster than before. Undetectable by the naked eye, you're not going to notice it, but it will. That's, you know, that's just numbers. Now we move on to the final two robe classes, Mystic and Wizard, which, since I've used, you know, G-Source on all of the other ones, these guys would actually benefit from Mad Lab. Now, remember, Sorcerer has the Mad Lab set, so if you want to put on Mad Robe, do it. I'm not stopping. You, you put it on, it's great. It's fantastic. You know what? It's great. Don't listen to me. <laughs> you know, remember, the numbers are so small, it doesn't even matter. Put on the set. Looks great. Anyway, Wizard. That guy has... Both Mystic and Wizard have no buffs, no heals. They have no ability They have no ability that heals them. They have both have 40 vit, really low vit. You're going to want to put on Robo the Mad Scientist because they get more vit. Sure, one less wisdom. Yeah, they would really benefit. Not really, but they would benefit from that extra wisdom. But the two vit is a cost that you want to pay. Just one wisdom for two vit. It's good. You know? You see what I'm... It's all about, you know, your pros and cons. Wizard and Mystic benefit from that 2-vit more than Priest and Sorcerer and Necro would. So if you had to pick a character to wear one of these, if you had to choose between these two robes and put one on your Wizard, put on the Mad Scientist robe. I'm not stopping you from putting on G-Sort. I would probably put g Sork on my, you know, Wizard... Oh, shoot. I would probably put g Sork on my Wizard if I had it, but if I also had Mad Scientist, I would probably put that on too. I'd swap out every couple weeks, you know? I like the color scheme. I like that cosmic Elodet and then um, G-Sork, all red. It's a great color scheme. But then, you know, Mad Scientist and Elodet and Cosmic and Pyrrha also looks great. So there is a way to decide between these two robes. As for which one's better, Cheetah Robe. Enough said. Good night. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Leave a comment for my next guide video. Uh, I, I will be doing another character guide video. And maybe a character comparison, too. Ooh, yeah, switching it up. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya.